episode, everyone. We are about to open some packages that we got. We got two packages. I don't remember exactly what this is. From Day Motorsports, right? Yeah, it's from Day Motorsports. Well, we got two packages. Check it out. We got that oh here we go we got this the engine lift plate so when we get ready to pull the motor it'll probably be sometime this week we gotta see what my dad wants to do and here's a catalog that we got that's that let's open this spring up this is a new front spring for us Tie box spring. As you can tell us it's on the box. Got us a sticker. Sweet. Put that on the ice chest or something. Well, we got that. The new front spring. And we got one more box. Let's open up this other box. See what's in here. I know what's in here, but we'll probably oh and yeah, we'll probably also assemble what's in this box. If it requires us, I'm pretty sure it does. Get that opened up. And I'm still waiting on that head mount for the GoPros. It should be here within the next couple of days. And the bumper will be here, hmm, maybe sometime by the end of the week. It, getting shipped from Illinois. So it'll be here probably by about the end of the week. It was in, I think, Kansas yesterday. But I, I haven't checked the update today, so... I don't know where it's at. Oh, look, maybe we don't need to assemble this. Sweet. We just gotta prop it up. It already comes pre-assembled. This is when we get the motor out and we get it sent off. I say since off, whenever we go drop it off. When we go drop it off, that's what this is for. Alright guys, I decided we're going to go ahead and start with the um, dry shaft first. We got it right here. So, we're going to go ahead and get it cleaned up. Oh, the dirt off. Dang, it's actually a lot wider than I thought still. it all washed up or not really washed just wiped down you know anybody wondering what this is from this is from um i was sitting in the dry shaft on the chassis that's why that rings right there so we're gonna notch the chassis whenever we redo the back of the car y'all see y'all see it whenever we start getting all all into that we're just waiting on the pipe to get here but I'll show it to y'all and y'all can check it out. I gotta come over here and get the spray paint. I'm telling you guys, once I get that head mount, this should be a whole lot better. But this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some of this gloss white. something to do while we wait for the paint to dry in the dry shop. This thing's disgusting. This thing's been here for how long? How long you think? Three months? Sitting Three, here? four months. It was the main ice chest I used back when all all of my family went, but they all 
decided to take vacation together and nobody ever came back. That sticker that we got in the spring, before the spring, the I bought, we're gonna put it on here. But go ahead and clean this thing up while we're here waiting. Said it's pretty disgusting. It was worse. I started cleaning it off camera. Yeah, these are all stickers from places that I've been and things that I've ordered. This was when we went to Colorado. This is for my motorcycle. This was not the motorcycle group I used to be a part of. That's just an unarmor sticker. And there's some CRT stickers. You went to an armor store? Yeah, when I went to no when I went to Academy. Remember? You bought me that sticker. That's the lift kit or the leveling kit that was on my trip. Well it's still on there, but now you just gotta find somewhere to put this one. Too big up. <laughs> Too big up. Put it right here, look. Like this. Let me get one. I think we can check on this dry shaft now. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Yeah, feels good. Don't feel bad. It feels like it's already dry. Honestly, it's weird. It's crazy how it dries so fast. But I mean, it was a light coat. Here we go. We'll get another coat on it. Slap it on there. Want this thing looking nice. So that way, when it comes out on the straightaway, y'all know. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's Matthew's dry shaft. Look how nice that thing looks. <laughs> been here all day all right guys we're not gonna bore y'all with this I'm gonna get this spray painted and we'll get it uh we'll get it painted we'll show y'all the after all right guys we got the lead all painted up it's all nice and new now so now we're just gonna wait for that to dry and we're probably gonna run out of daylight today so we probably won't do it today but the next time y'all see it, it should have uh, stencils painted on it with the number 75 because we have to put our numbers on them. Still work in progress. We got a bunch of things we need to get out of here. Like this. This is from like 10 years ago. We had a Halloween party. But yeah, it's a work in progress. It, it'll be a race shop soon enough. I promise. We're working on it. 
Yeah, let's get this out of here. So we should have it finished up, but y'all probably won't get to see that. Well, but instead of that, we're gonna be working on this back here. I'm not sure how much more video we're gonna be able to get because it's getting dark out and we're just gonna see what we can do with it. If the cameras will pick, pick up and it looks good, we'll keep recording today. If not, we'll jump on it tomorrow, but we'll, we'll try to make do with what we got. So that's probably it for the lead block that we got just got this pulled out our old engine stand we, we just got through running some tests on it making sure it works because the last time we used this thing was probably whew, about seven years ago that's whenever we put the motor inside the c10 right. this is what we're working on right now see the shelf we have up here where we're trying to move these wheels the four-wheeler wheels and these wheels up there so we have more room down here but the problem is, see how I don't have no bracing right in the middle? So right now we're gonna build some brakes down a two by four and put a piece of plywood up there so we can get that. So trying to get this shop cleaned up a little bit before we start pulling our motor out. So we'll check it out. But that's what we're currently working on right now. Huh? Off season work. What? Off season work. Oh yeah, off season work. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of hard to do stuff like this during the season because, well, beginning of the season we were doing a bunch of this, so <laughs> we're we're learning uh, body work at the beginning of the season, so I became a better driver. So when I got a little better, we started actually working on the car, but still we're and then started just on the car, haven't really done anything back here in the shop. So this is our project for right now. yeah and um next vlog we'll see what we have in plan in store for that but i don't know i already have like a schedule of how i'm doing things but soon enough the motor will get ripped out and the car start getting worked on so if you want to see content on that just stick around i promise you it's coming but other things need to happen so we can get to that point but as of right now just don't want to hang out while we do this we'll be working on it today. Slowly but surely. Then we plan on extending the shop out. That wall right there. Plan on taking it down, making it bigger. So we're planning on taking that wall down, making it bigger, moving this door, putting it in on the new wall. So we'll have the shop. The plan is to have it twice as big as what it is now. So that way we can fit both cars in here. My brother's factory shop and my limited. And you don't know, have plenty of room to work on both cars. So that way we're on top of each other. We don't gotta worry about rain and weather things like that but yeah i'm gonna keep working on this i guess once we start getting things up there and get it all organized we'll pick back up with y'all so we can get some work done <laughs> 